Crystal from Space to Love here and Happy New Year. Oh my God, it's 2021. Thank God. Ah, oh, so sick of saying 2020. Uh, what a year it's been. So looking to the future, looking on to our New Year's resolutions and what we're going to do. Um, so I guess the most popular things are usually get organized and lose weight. So today we are going to organize this refrigerator here. And in here, okay, <laughs> we're going to go through that. We're going to use the Space to Love five-step method. Um, if you're not going to organize your kitchen or your refrigerator, you can use the five-step method for any area of your home. Okay, so we're just going to jump into step one, which is setup. And basically, we have our kitchen table here. We cleared off the back counter here, so we're going to, because we're going to be taking everything out of this refrigerator. Uh, so I have my post-its, I have a marker, I have a scissor, a box cutter. Uh, we have garbage, recycle. I doubt there's gonna be any donate, <laughs> you never know. Uh, so we're all set up and we're ready to go. Okay, so now we're just gonna jump right into the sort part. Uh, so basically we're gonna start taking everything out of the refrigerator and we're gonna put like with like. So we're gonna have condiments, we're gonna have leftovers, uh, we're gonna have dairy, we're gonna have vegetables, um, things like that. So we're gonna start taking everything out, spreading it out, sorting it, and then we'll go into select. Okay, so we basically have been sorting for a little bit, and as you can see, there's nothing in here. Oh my God, okay. So we have categories, and basically I wanna talk about the condiments right now because we have different types of condiments. Um, we have mustard and ketchup and mayo, which is one thing, but then they do a lot of sundaes here, apparently, so we have like a whole sundae condiment thing going on. We have barbecue sauce, we have um, salad dressings and things like that. So. Going through the salad dressings, of course, we're looking at the expiration dates, and these are good, but these two are the same, so we're gonna combine these two together, which is gonna save us some space. Um, as we're looking through the condiments, we notice that um, the mayo is actually expired, so we are going to dump that, um, dump it out, clean it out, and recycle the, um, the packaging. And then also with the ketchup, same thing, that's expired. Uh, and then something else we were also looking at that we were realizing, um, oh, well, we were talking about wine. So they said they had this wine since Thanksgiving. Um, so wine doesn't really keep, so we're also going to let that go. So sad. Okay. Um, and then we also have, um, so those are pretty much the condiments that we went through. Again, we made sure that everything was up to date. We got rid of anything that's expired. And um, anything that just weren't using anymore, uh, we let go of. We started going through all of their vegetables. Um, and basically they were saying the salad is old. We're actually gonna let these go. They don't have compost, but that's okay. Some people do, we would do that as well if we could. These aren't good anymore either, so we're gonna let those go. Um, we're also gonna go through all of these, uh, all the Tupperware. Uh, basically, you know, with the food, any of your leftovers, when in doubt, throw it out. So we're gonna go through all of that and check through those. And, um, and then basically, oh, things like this. We have a lot of butter here. So that's one thing they can say, you know what, I don't need to buy butter for a little bit. We have enough. Right now that we put like with like, you can really see how much of everything you have. And, um, and then all the cheeses back here, which is another thing. I wanna make sure that we can go through these before it goes bad. Uh, so this is a really good opportunity to see how much you have, what's expired, and um, just get rid of all that that uh, is no longer serving you. Okay, so we basically just sorted through everything um, and then we put everything back. But before we put everything back, we did step four, which is sanitize. So we took out all of the shelving, all the drawers, all the things on the door, took them out, washed them, dried them, put them back so it was nice and clean. Um, and then we put everything back like with like. So we made little categories, which is really cute. So we have our Sunday bar section now and we labeled it. All the butter is here in one place and it's labeled. Uh, we have barbecue sauce, soy sauce, and then we have dog food down at the bottom. Um, so everything, everyone in the house knows where it is and where it goes back to. So hopefully they should be able to stay organized. Um, and also to keep them organized, so going into pretty much like the last stage, which is style, which is step five, uh, we do have these bins here. Uh, so I kind of like these and I like the height of these because these little snacks are kind of, you know, when they're not in their packaging, but this is great for the kids. They can just grab and go when they need something, um, especially when they're putting their school lunches together. It makes it super easy for them. Um, and then these stack on top of each other, which is great. So this can go right into the fridge. Mm -hmm. Keeping everything nice and neat. And then also I really do like these long, narrow ones. Um, they have Yoohoo's in the, here right now, but you can do other little drinks, uh, Capri Sun drinks and things like that. 
and that can go right back into the fridge too. So keep them nice and organized. They can see everything, things are labeled, keep them organized and they know where everything is, which is great. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found these tips useful and um, have a happy new year, 2021. I think it's gonna be a great year. Um, good luck with your new year's resolutions. And um, if you like this video, definitely give us a thumbs up. Or if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Space to Love, or just check us out at spacetolove.com for more info about us. Again, happy new year.